Hello everyone and welcome back. <clears throat> I've had a couple of requests to uh, do a video on the setup of the two row John Deere corn planter. And that's what this video is going to be today. A uh, couple of things to keep in mind and I hope you guys can hear me. It's a little windy and I'm down next to the creek because I was looking for a spot. Well, you'll see. But uh, what we've got here is a two row corn planter from RDH Outdoors I bought last year and I love the corn planter okay so uh, I keep that in mind uh, another thing to keep in mind is I had never pulled a, this type of corn planter until I bought this one and uh, kind of had to I pulled a Ford 309 two row and then a one row poly planter and uh, that was it I never fooled with this this particular type of planter before but here it is and uh, through trial and error I kind of learned how to set it up and uh, it has performed beautifully for me uh, been very pleased with it but we'll get started and do keep in mind too as my father used to say daddy would say there's the right way to do it there's the wrong way to do it and then there's my way to do it so what I'm telling you is this is how I do it. It may or may not work for you, but some of the basics will, I promise. If you'll follow some of the basics, the fine tuning may be a little different on your particular tractor uh, and your particular soil, your particular fields, etc., etc. And I pulled the planter with the John Deere 5205. It is a great little tractor for this, for this purpose. Um, handles it good, it, it matches up good, etc., etc. All right. Enough about that. Okay, and I, I've on previous videos on other implements, I've talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it again because it is the single most important thing when hooking to a three-point implement. And on a three-point implement, you got your lift arms and your top link. You got two lift arms and your top link. Hence the three points. It's the three point three points of connection. Okay. Before you can do any adjustment on this, this has to be correct, okay? Uh, and no matter what the implement is, the three point, the contact to the tractor, it must be properly matched to the tractor. And let me tell you, explain what I'm talking about here, okay? Uh, number one, in most implements in their working position, in other words, when the implement is down doing the task that it is designed to do, it needs to be level. Now, what I mean from that is level with the tractor. So if you draw a straight line from the tractor back through, uh-oh, you can see our seat boxes are pitched down. You can see our planter units are pitched down. That's a problem. We'll address that in a minute. It needs to be level that way, and it needs to be level from left to right this way okay now if it's not you cannot adjust the implement to take that out okay now on the corn planter another thing you've got to keep in mind your stabilizer chains or your stabilizer bars or whatever you have to hold the lift arms from moving from side to side is very important we want this planter to be in line with the tractor and if you can see I have it centered now the corn planter is designed to run like this if I have this corn planter sitting like this it's going to skate okay if the planter is shifted down the hill it's going to skate these are going to slide this is going to slide this is going to slide. Your openers are going to be sliding. They're going to be plowing. And that's not what you want. It won't perform the way it's supposed to if it does that. Okay? So it's very important that once we get it centered, we secure it to where it's not moving around. A little play is okay. You know, I think most manufacturers recommend an inch of play. A uh, little play is okay. You don't break stuff if you got a little play usually. It gives it a little play, but you don't want it just flopping around back here. Okay? Now, 
if you start and the way way of course once we get it centered we'll tighten our sway chains up to level it uh, one of the lift arms or both of them will have an adjustment to le level it up now we've got it centered and we've got it leveled side to side uh, let's look at the corn planter itself now like i said there's a lot of people out there that knows a lot more about corn planters than i do and i don't claim to be an expert but i have managed to get this one to work for me so uh we will uh we'll go on that so here's your openers right here okay they create the opening for the seed to go into these are your gauge wheels and they also firm the side of the trench that this makes okay and these are your covering wheels those are your closing wheels all right these and those have adjustments of course your seed comes out of your seed box falls down goes through your meter falls down your seed tube and is dropped in the trench made by the openers this creates the side walls that closes them up covers your seed in a nutshell now like i said that's that's that so in order for this to work properly it needs to be pretty level okay it needs to be pretty level now there is adjustments on this for your seed depth and there's adjustments back here for uh closing it's because all fields you know are not dead level flat square and all that good stuff so but first of all we want to adjust the entire unit before we go to adjusting on these implements and uh when it's in its working position it needs to be and i know there's some wind here it needs to be level all right so if i look at this you can see that the uh i hope you can see and sun's kind of in my way here i am not a photographer folks so bear with me uh you can see that they're pitched down in the front all right, now what that's going to cause is, see that? Your covering wheels are not going to be running properly. Now, I've got these in a float position, so uh, I could put a little pressure on them. But it's not going to work properly. All right, so if I let the whole unit down, I just walk around here to the lift arm controls, and I let the whole unit down. Well, it's all the way down that's as far as it's going to go so i need to make an adjustment on my top link and let me start the tractor up and uh, pick this unit up and i'll show you i'll show you something okay so hold on don't ever start a tractor from the ground standing beside it and if you ever find yourself in a situation where you have to stay out from in front of the wheel don't ever do it to start with, but if you ever do, like I'm fixing to, reach over, start it. Don't stand in front of the wheel, okay? Don't do it. Just don't. It's a bad idea. All right, so we're going to pick this thing up. You can see where it picked up is tilted the other way, right? All right. So I let it down. And it's pretty level, but it still needs to be top. In order to force the back down, I gotta lengthen this top top length. Now, see how the planter was pitched down the back when I picked it up. Most tractors have multiple holes here for your draft control. You can alleviate a little bit of that by moving this pin to one of these other holes to where it comes up more straight. It don't matter to me. It picks up high enough that I can make a turn. So. I need to lengthen this, but before I do that, let's uh, let me show you something else. Okay, so I'm gonna shorten the top length, raise the back up. All right, now all right, we've got the back up. Now I'm gonna let the unit down. Well, how far do I let the unit down? Well, 
I want to adjust the corn planter with the top link. Now this is a top link only adjustment. To where I can let the my left arms all the way down to where the planter is going to float in a level position. If if I just make contact and level it and hold my left arms at that position, I go over a hump, it's going to pick the planter up. I go through a ditch, of course, it's going to do fine. It'll float up. I don't want, I want the weight of the planter all the way down and then level it. So what I'm going to do, I am going to uh, adjust this top link and level it up. Okay, the unit is pretty level. It's pitched up just a little bit in the front, but that's okay because we're not in the working position. Once the planter gets down in the ground, the front will drop a little bit, which will level it back up. All right, so we got this baby level, and we're going to plant. Your planting depth is controlled by your gauge wheels, which your adjustments right here on this particular planter. Okay, so what do we want to do? I want to plant it, say, an inch and a half deep. Depending on your soil conditions, you can see this ground's hard, it's compacted, but we're going to give it a shot. So, uh, hang on a second, and I'll, uh, I'm going to back a planter out here, drop it, and pull it a little bit, and then we'll pick it up and look at it, okay? So, hang on. Okay. So, we just, I just backed out here and pulled a little bit. So I come around here and I want to look and see and before I get into this if your soil conditions are not properly prepped you're wasting your time have your ground ready to plant before have your seed bed prepared before you take your planting or transplanting implement into it okay so I want to make sure my trench is deep enough it looks good now what I can do if I want it to go deeper I adjust this and let these wheels come up higher. That allows the openers to go deeper. Now on this particular model, once I reach a certain depth, my gauge wheel may start holding me up, okay? That's adjustable right here. Uh, I want pressure on it so it doesn't slip and it has some float to it. But what you want to do is make sure that it's not holding your planter up out of the ground okay or it's so high up that it's not making contact for these to properly run so you know a good way to do it to adjust it and the way i done it initially is i pushed the drive wheel i adjusted it up where it wasn't in contact and then set up my depth and then adjust my drive wheel back down to where it has good firm contact okay so you adjust your depth here you just move these up or down and what it is it's just a block you can see it right here that holds these gauge wheels so if i raise that block up it allows the wheels to come up higher allows the uh openers to go deeper all right back here down pressure same thing what i do is farther back this way the more down pressure it puts on it and that's what it should sort of look like uh in good ground it'll look a lot better <laughs> pretty much that is if once you get your unit running level and straight and not doing this number then between that adjustment your drive wheel adjustment and your uh, covering wheel adjustment covers adjustment you can make it plant good uh, the transmission this is for your population and basically what i done on this is I, I wrote it down on a piece of paper but i tried each one i, I basically 
jacked the drive wheel way down to where the units wasn't touching and drove along and measured. And I wrote down, you know, like 12 inch spacing, eight inch spacing, 10 inch spacing, whatever. And uh, that's how I done that. So I, I know if I need to swap it, I know where I need to go with it. So uh, that's, uh, that's the way that works. But uh, I hope that answers your questions. Key is if the unit's level side to side, centered centered very important on this planter like i said you don't want the thing skating uh level and then of course you just adjust your final planting down here and uh if you're planting if it's not if you can't get it go deep enough raise this drive wheel up if it's going too deep even hope trying to hold off you may just need to adjust the drive wheel but anyhow that that's been a couple of questions uh, most important thing is make sure your relationship with your tractor, your, your pull unit is correct. And uh, uh, if you do that, it'll save you a lot of trouble. And uh, don't be afraid to get off the tractor, make a few adjustments, etc., etc. It uh, it can save you a lot of work. Uh, big the key take homes from this video is three point correct your soil conditions correct and the minor details are pretty straightforward to work out but if you have any more questions about it please ask me i like i said i am no corn planter expert by no means uh i did manage to get it to work and it's worked fine for me and uh i can just tell you what i know about it how i do it etc if uh if you like what we're doing please subscribe uh hit that little notification bell uh, let us know what you think on the comment video you like question about it, whatever if you do want to see a video on something ask for it I can't promise I'll do it but I'll try and until next time everyone take care of themselves I hope this helps talk to you later bye